So if it is a really a measurement research process, then you see that we normally we got go through this literature review, then identify the relevant uh, dimensions of the particular measurement, like uh, this uh, study of uh, let's say homestay service uh, experience. Of course, you will really review the relevant literature, very relevant literature in that particular field. And uh, sometimes you also need to get the methodological inputs from other fields, right? Yeah. For example, I got my critical incident technique actually from the engineering field, right? So it is important to also visit other uh, related fields. That's how sometimes you can contribute new knowledge, you know, in terms of uh, the, the technique and the method. So after that, you will carry out the qualitative research, trying to combine this uh, literature uh, review, uh, the findings that you got from your literature review and also your qualitative research. So with that, you can come up with your tentative uh, uh, instrument, right? Or the list of these uh, dimensions and items. Then you design the instrument, carry out the pilot testing, right? And then test, the, uh, analyze the uh, psychometric property of the measurement. Then you may want to collect the data again to uh, validate, right? Or to confirm that particular uh, measurement that you have just uh, developed, right? So then you will carry out uh, this uh, bigger scale data collection or another sample data to uh, check the reliability and validity again using various uh, psychometric property analysis that uh, we have learned the other day, right? And hopefully with that, you have the finalized uh, measurement. With that measurement, if you can compute that particular uh, uh, composite score uh, mathematically or statistically, right? Then that is uh, what you call the particular index uh, or the particular composite score or 